Today's story is an adaptation from The Athletic. If you like it, go and subscribe at theathletic.co.uk forward slash TIFO football to read more stories that you won't find anywhere else. John Fleck's career seems to have been spent trying to fulfil potential. Finally, the Sheffield United man seems to be doing just that. Five Premier League goals and two assists from midfield by the end of January was a decent return by anyone's standards, but for a player who not so long ago seemed destined to play out his prime years in League One, Fleck's seamless adjustment to the top level has been nothing short of remarkable. The subject of an unsuccessful £4 million bid from West Ham United a year ago, just as the January transfer window was about to close, the 28-year-old's form has been such that his value in the transfer market has increased exponentially. Not bad for a player who arrived on a free transfer in Chris Wilder's maiden summer at the helm in 2016. Three and a half years later, both are excelling in the Premier League and Fleck has become an even more important cog in the United machine since Wilder moved away from playing a number 10 behind two strikers in favour of a flat three-man midfield. The new role grants Fleck licence to get forwards much more, a point underlined by a goals tally that is already a personal best for a season. No wonder Wilder is so keen to tie the Scotland international down to a longer contract with his current deal set to expire next summer. He's been incredible, the United manager says about a player once dubbed the new Wayne Rooney after making his competitive debut for Rangers at the tender age of 16. By embracing every level he's played at, he's moved forwards each time. He also has a wand of a left peg, and when he hits the ball, it stays hit. Proper power. But that kind of praise feels long overdue, especially for those who remember the hype surrounding him in those early days at Rangers. A year or so after making his first team debut for the Glasgow Giants at 15 on a pre-season tour of Germany, came the notable accolade of being the youngest player to feature in a senior final in Britain. That winner's medal, after coming on for the final five minutes in the 2008 Scottish Cup final victory over Queen of the South, was expected to be the first of many. The reality, however, was very different. He did enjoy a couple of decent runs in the Rangers' first team in 2009, and then again 18 months or so later, but by the summer of 2011, it had become clear that a spell away from Ibrox would be in his best interests. Sheffield United offered a route out of Glasgow, but a mix-up with the paperwork as the minutes clicked down towards the end of the transfer window eventually scuppered the move. Fleck left Rangers for good the following summer in the wake of their financial collapse, then four years at Coventry City, by then mired in crisis, followed before Wilder brought Fleck to Yorkshire soon after succeeding Nigel Adkins at Bramall Lane. Now, the early signs weren't overly encouraging. Fleck struggled with running during his first pre-season training camp with Wilder, vividly recalling the Scot gasping for breath in one demanding session. Now, though, the United manager says Fleck just goes and goes and goes. Those energy levels have helped him get forwards regularly enough to create 30 chances for others, the second highest in the squad behind Norwood, and have 17 attempts on goal of his own. Fleck's shooting accuracy of 64.7% is the highest among Wilder's players. Now, all this points to a career finally starting to resemble the one expected all those years ago when Fleck was coming through at Rangers. Recognition from Scotland, long overdue in the eyes of Sheffield United supporters, arrived last autumn with a first senior call-up. His debut came in a Euro 2020 qualifying defeat to Russia in Moscow. One man who has been following Fleck's progress with interest ever since those early comparisons with Rooney is former Sheffield United assistant manager Stuart McCall. As Gordon Strachan's right-hand man with the national team, he kept a keen eye on all those hoping to make a breakthrough at international level. I remember watching John play for Scotland under-16s at Scunthorpe, McCall, a five-time title winner at Ibrox as a player and later appointed their manager, told The Athletic. England won quite comfortably because they were more powerful and that bit stronger. We didn't have the physicality and were blown away, in truth. But to me, continues McCall, he was the best player on the pitch. He was only young, but there was a real player in there, no doubt about that. I followed his career ever since. What I most like about him now is that he dictates and dominates games. Not everyone is capable of doing that in the Premier League. One of those United players who did not last the journey between the divisions is James Wilson, now at Ipswich Town. He was one of Wilder's first signings in the same summer Fleck arrived from Coventry. Flecky always looked a good player, the Welsh defender told The Athletic. He was a big part of the team that won promotion. 
Watching Flecky score goals and getting all this praise is no surprise to me. And it might be to those who've not been familiar with what's been happening at Sheffield United, but not me. Flecky is a special player and it's great to see things going so well for him. Chris Hussey, another who moved to Bramall Lane in the same summer as Fleck but moved on a year later, agrees. He was no different back then to what he is now, says the 31-year-old, now with Cheltenham Town. Quiet and just wanting to get on with his job with the minimum of fuss. And Fleck, for his part, admits feeling his time at Sheffield United has flown by. Those days in League One seem far away now, he says, but it's only two or three years ago. We've come such a long way in a short period of time. Now part of the international fold under Steve Clark, Fleck has a chance to make history in that arena too. Not since the 1998 World Cup have Scotland qualified for a major tournament, but March will bring a chance to book a place at Euro 2020 via the playoffs, a home semi-final against Israel, with the winners to visit Norway or Serbia five days later for a spot in the finals. The script for this video, written by Richard Sutcliffe, was originally featured on The Athletic, the best place to read about football online. Whether it's more behind-the-scenes insight, dedicated local reporting about your team, or rich storytelling from around the world, you'll find it all in one place. And if you like today's video, you can read more of Richard's writing alongside a world-class team of other writers. So, get a seven-day free trial by visiting theathletic.co.uk forward slash TIFO football and get 50% off if you sign up for an annual subscription.